Hello and welcome. This is going to be our lecture video for April 6th. I'm talking about graphing from standard form here. Uh, and we've got a word problem to go along with this. A football team scores 63 points. All of the points come from field goals worth 3 points and touchdowns worth 7 points. Write and graph a linear equation that represents the situation and then list every possible combination of field goals and touchdowns the team could have scored. So they scored a combination of field goals and touchdowns. They scored a total of 36 points, but we don't know what the combination was. What's the mix? Was it all touchdowns? Was it all field goals? Was it some mix? We're going to figure that out. So what are we given? Well, we know all of this information. Let's just take out the important stuff. They scored 63 points. And we might have already known this. But a field goal equals three points, touchdown equals seven points. All right, how can touchdowns and field goals be represented? Uh, how can these be written in terms to represent the point value of each? So we might want to go with like F and T, but because we know that we're going to end up eventually graphing this, uh, we want to graph this, we're going to use X and Y. So we'll say X equals number of touchdowns. And we'll say Y equals number of field goals. All right, and then how can these be written in terms to represent the point value of each? So if you take the number of touchdowns and you multiply it by 7, you'll get the points from touchdowns. And let's check, check that with a couple values. Uh, we'll just say TDs, points from TDs. Like if I score 0, 7 times 0 is 0 points. If I score 1 touchdown, 7 times 1 is 7 points. That makes sense to me. Two touchdowns, seven times two is 14, 14 points, yep. And then for field goals, we'll do three Y equals points from uh, field goals. If I score three field goals, three times three is nine, I get nine points, yep. All right, so write an equation in standard form. Let's write out what standard form is. Standard form is AX plus BY equals C. That models the situation. So we know we scored a total of 63 points, and those points came from TDs and field goals. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add together the points from the TDs plus the points from the field goals, and the total should be 63. How can you find the y-intercept? All right, this is an important point. We can find the y-intercept if we plug in 0 for x. Plug in 0 for x. So one idea is to rearrange this to be in a slope-intercept form, but this is a quicker way. At the y-intercept, let's draw a quick little xy-coordinate plane. At the y-intercept, the x value is always 0. Right? Everywhere along this line, the x value is 0. So if I plug in 0, um, and then I solve for y, I'll find the y-intercept. Let's try that. So 7 times 0 plus 3y equals 63. These cancel out. Divide both sides by 3, and we get y equals 21. I say 31. 21. So what does this actually mean? What this means is that if I scored zero touchdowns, I could still get a score of 63 if I scored 21 field goals. All right. So how can you find the x-intercept? Well, just reverse what we did here. If we plugged in 0 for x and solved find the y-intercept, then we can find an x-intercept. Oh, my tablet just died. Let me pause the video real quick. Okay. Uh, so to find the x-intercept, we plug in 0 
for y, uh, solve, let me have myself, solve for x. All right, so everywhere along the x-axis, the y value is zero. So this is some point x comma zero. So we use that fact to our advantage. Uh, let's solve for that. So 7x plus 3 times 0 equals 63. This term cancels out. I divide both sides by 7. And I get x equals 9. Uh, so what this means is that if I scored only touchdowns, I could get to 63 points by scoring 9 of them. So 9 touchdowns gets you 63 points. All right, how can you use the intercepts to graph the line? So it's as simple as just plot both. So plot both the intercepts. These both give you an ordered pair. We could say that this ordered pair here is 0, 21, and this ordered pair here is 9, 0. So plot both intercepts. Then connect with a straight line. All right, on to the next part. We need to graph this relationship on a coordinate plane. So we're going to use what we said in step six here to actually do a graph here. And then we're going to try to use that graph to determine a list of all of the possible combinations. Because we actually already, already found two the all touchdowns and all field goals situations, but there's some in the middle where it's a mix of both touchdowns and field goals. All right, so I gotta get my graph paper out. Uh, graph paper can be pretty helpful here instead of just trying to sketch this on blank paper. Pause it for me. All right, so here I've got my graph paper. So I'm gonna label the X and the Y axes uh, real quick. I said X axis was number of touchdowns and the y-axis was number of field goals all right and i've already got my two points i've said at nine comma zero there should be a point and at 20 zero comma 21 there should be a point now let's try and connect these up with a straight line so i got my straight line tool connect them up and now this line represents all of the combinations that would still get us 63 points uh, but there's kind of a problem that a lot of the points in this line are fractional amounts which doesn't make a lot of sense in the context of this problem um, but some of these points are integers that do make sense so let's look for them. Um, actually, I can tell my line's just a little bit off. The more precise, the better here. So uh, plus you need to double check your, your points. So let me see if I can just adjust this line. I guess I'm moving the whole graph. Um, the line. So I'll pick a real thin line so I can be as precise as possible with these points. Okay, that's better. All right, so now I can see it doesn't hit that point there. It, uh, it does hit right here at 3, 14. Um, it actually misses on these, but then right there as well at 6, 7. So there's two other answers here, 3, 14 and 6, 7. So let's double check these. So three touchdowns, 14 field goals. So three TDs, 14 field goals. That gets you 21 points for the TDs. 14 times 3 is 42. Add them together, we get 63 points. All right, let's check it with 6 TDs and 7 field goals. 
Six TDs gets you 42 points right there. Seven field goals gets you 21 more points. Add these together, we get 63 points there as well. So now I think we've got all of the combinations that uh, can give us 63 points. Get rid of this. All right. So we can either, I'll just create a little table of TDs and field goals. We can either get uh, zero and 21, three and 14, six and seven, or nine and zero. All right, and we'll see a nice little pattern here that this is going up by threes, this is going down by sevens, and that's because seven field goals is worth three touchdowns. They're both worth um, 21 points. Uh, what's, is that true? Seven times three, 21. Three times seven, 21, yes. Okay, all right, uh, so I think we've answered everything here. That's it for our lecture video today. Have a good rest of your day.